My name is Craig Lanny. I am the National Account Manager for Spruce Safety Products, working with the Fire and Rescue Services. Today I wanted to take you through some troubleshooting with our YSAFE 2 range. There may be a time when you need to unlearn an alarm from a YSAFE 2 network. Now, what I have here is my four product network with the two smoke alarms, a heat alarm, and a vibrating pad and strobe. The alarms form a mesh network. And once I take this alarm off the base plate to go through the unlearning process, the monitoring device in the network, which is the pad and strobe, and it's able to be a monitoring device because it's AC powered and it has the power to monitor everything going on in the network that it's in. Once I take this off the base plate and the signal has gone around the network, this will then realize, the pattern strobe will then realize that it's been taken off the base plate and the amber light will start to flash to say, check your network. Once it starts doing that, I will go through the unlearning sequence within the alarm, but that will still flash because what I need to do really, because it's a monitored network, is reset everything within the network to stop the pad and strobe looking for the alarm that I'm replacing. So in simple terms, despite resetting that alarm, the rest of the network, because it's got the pad and strobe, will still look for the alarm that I've taken out. So the simplest thing to do is reset the whole network and then recreate your new network afterwards. So I'll show you how to take an alarm out of the network now. So first of all, I take the alarm off the base plate. Now shortly what we will see, like I explained earlier, is the pattern strobe will realize something in the network has now changed. And basically what I've done, I've taken that off the base plate, off the ceiling. I'll take you through the unlearning process now in terms of removing an alarm from a network. So what I do, I've take the base plate off the alarm to get access to the wireless module. I get my pen onto the pressure pad here, and what I will be doing is pressing the pressure pad softly and out again, so just pivoting my pen in effect. So press, let go, press, and I'll hold it then in the second time for as long as that red light here stays solid. Once that red light then goes out, I will remove the pen, and you'll see a series of flashes to say that that alarm has been removed from the network. So let me do that now. So press, let go, press, solid light on. Now remove and you'll see the flashes. So to show that's been taken out of the network, put the alarm back on its base plate, press the alarm, And as you can see and hear, it's just acting now as a standalone alarm. But the best thing to do now is to repeat that process for the other alarms in the network and the vibrating pad and strobe so that the vibrating pad and strobe isn't effectively still looking for the alarm that you've removed.